All right, guys, it's DeMont coming back at you again from DeMont's Big Bass. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's getting kind of that time of the year, late summer frog fishing. Um, I mean, I like throwing a frog all year long. Well, not all year long, um, but mainly late spring into the summer and late summer, late summer especially. Um, one of my favorite frogs, um, I went by Walmart this morning just so I could get get this and show it to you, but the price is starting to come up. This is the Booyah Pad Crasher. Um, this is what I call an all-around frog. Um, there's different frogs for different kinds of situations. Um, this is what I would call an all-around frog. Uh, for the money, this used to be, in my opinion, my own personal opinion, like one of the best frogs you can get for the money. Now, did it have some flaws? Yes. Um, but for the most part, it was a pretty decent frog. Um, has a nice soft body, really good hooks, uh, and dependable for the money. But it used to be um, like $3.99. Now they're almost $6. Um, so I went looking today, just trying to find, I mean, if I gotta pay a $6 price for them, I might as well look at the other everything else in the category. And I went to a, a Walmart and also went by Ollie's. I'm going to show you why I went by Ollie's in just a second. Because they always have new fishing, especially in the summer. If you have an Ollie's nearby, they always get like truckloads of fishing stuff in. Some of it might not be the newest stuff, but you can always get it for a really good deal. Uh, I say always really good deal, but some of they have some Berkeley stuff in that hasn't been a very good deal at all. Okay, that's the pad crasher. I put him back in his box. All right. Um, I got a scum frog, which I used to use these back in the past. Uh, I'm going to show you one of the things I didn't really like about him. Um, let's see. Not that. Um, I also got these because I wanted to try these out. These are the Walmart versions of Whopper Ploppers. Uh, they had different colors. I want to try this perch color. Because one of the lakes I fish has perch. Um, it's a 3.5 inch bait. It looks pretty good. I don't know how good the hooks are in it. You probably got to change those anyway. Um, then I got a silver black head. Alright. But these are I think 4 or $5 for basically a Whopper Plopper style bait. Um, like the Chapo from Berkeley is 10. The Weston's 10. Um, the Savage, I think is 10. The Whopper Plopper starts off at 11 or 12 and it goes up to 20. Um, so I mean this pretty reasonable alternative, pretty reasonable, but okay. Then I went over, um, when I went over to Aldi's, what do Aldi's mean? They had like the Savage Gear Ducks, um, $4.99. I got, and these are the smaller ducks. They're, um, they weigh 28 grams, 10.5 centimeters, which, uh, they're about almost an ounce. Um, and then they had these little castaic frogs in there. Um, and they were $5, but, and they're called this Castaic Frog CF50. Have you guys ever tried these? I've been looking for another small frog. Look how small that little guy is. It's 50 centimeters. I mean, 50 millimeters, I mean. And I think it weighs... Well, I don't like thinking. Give me one second. I'll be right back. We got the scale now and it weighs let's take everything off of here come on clear out it weighs get all on the scale it basically weighs uh one third of an ounce so it's a little heavier than a quarter most little frogs you see like this are a quarter 
So this one's a little heavier than a quarter. So it should cast a lot better. They're very soft. Only thing I don't really like so much about them is the hook kind of sits below. If you can see this, below the back line. And the hook seems to be kind of small. So I don't really know if you could bend it out. But they're very soft. And the hooks kind of face up when you squeeze it. So it might still give you a good hookup ratio. Um, but I got a couple of these to try out just to see. Um, I always has a, a bunch of stuff there. Um, a lot of stuff I either have or don't want. Uh, the one where we live at now has a, where we used to live had a bunch of freshwater stuff. This one has a bunch of saltwater stuff and a little bit of freshwater stuff. Um, I wish it was the opposite way around. Um, I don't really care anything about saltwater fishing that much, so. Um, but I got a white one, a black one, and a yellow one. Just to try out. Um, they also had these there. Which were the American Originals. The G5s. And these were $2.99. And I got the, um, I call it root beer crawl. And then I got basically a crawdad pattern. Um, but I've used these before. So I know they work. Um, Alright, so now let me go back over here to the scum frog. Now Walmart had several other frogs but i mean i have i have some expensive frogs but if i could get away throwing something that doesn't cost ten dollars or doesn't cost twelve thirteen dollars for a frog that i mean no matter a frog is a bait that after you catch seven eight or nine fish on it sometimes it gets torn up and you can't even use it anymore and especially if you live anywhere near snakeheads Snakeheads will put holes all in the thing. And it just doesn't work no more. Um, okay, so here is the scum frog. I kind of like the body of it. It looks kind of like a little froggy. Um, it's soft, very soft. And I kind of like that they leave the legs kind of short. So you don't have to do too much trimming. What I do, usually do is I come in, I trim about that much, about a half inch off of one side of the leg. It just makes it walk so much better. This is an all-purpose frog as well. I'm not talking about popping frogs right now. I'm not talking about frogs with spinner baits on them or frogs with kicking feet or anything else. I'm just talking about all-purpose hollow body frogs. That's what I'm talking about right now. I'm just trying to find another all-purpose frog that doesn't cost an arm and a leg that's going to work good. But the one thing I've always never really liked about these scum frogs, I mean, they're soft. But the hook, if the fish like bites it, you have to he has to have a really good bite down on top of it. Unless you bend these hooks out a lot. If not, it's gonna take a lot for him to get past that. Because there's a hump right here where the where the legs go through. There's like a hump right here. You can hump you can see where I'm pushing, see? I'm sitting there pushing. I smashed down on it really good. And I just barely got the hook to pop up. But the other side didn't even pop up. And the hook likes to bury itself inside the plastic right here. So what happens, um, catch fish or not catch fish, you miss a fish, that hook starts tearing a hole in this side of the bait. And not to mention, the bait's open in the back. You see it? So you can't really keep water out of this. But it's kind of designed to sit down in the water like this. Uh, um, I have caught fish on I'm not going to say I haven't. It's just not one of my favorite frogs. Um, I guess the main thing I want to try to do is to start a discussion here. Um, you guys share the video, comment on the video. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you, if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Tell me what your favorite cheap frog is. A reasonable price frog. I mean, 
there are so many good frogs that cost a good amount of money that they all work. They all catch fish. I mean, I ain't going to... If they've been product tested and designed enough, like the Strike King frog, it catches fish. It's, it's eight to... It's nine to ten dollars, depends on where you buy it at. Um, every once in a while you can catch them on sale, but most of the time you can't. Um, that's because they're a map item. Um, I mean, there's the Spro frog catches fish. We all know that. I mean, like I said, there's so many frogs that catch fish. I have several other ones that I like, but everything's creeping up to the the same price of everything else. That's why I like this guy a lot. Um, but now this guy, it seems like every time I go back to Walmart or, or I go on a cat and go to the Academy or I go on Tackle Warehouse or I go Land Big Fish, it's like the prices of them just keep creeping up. A lot of times I order like my frogs and stuff from Land Big Fish. So Land Big Fish, you don't pay your taxes on it. Well, I don't pay taxes on it um, because I'm out of state. But a lot of companies will start like charging taxes for states they don't even... They don't, you're not even in. You don't live there. And they shouldn't be charging you taxes for a state you don't live in. I don't really know if that's a way they're making more money off of it or, or what. But I can just tell you this. Tackle Warehouse didn't used to charge taxes for North Carolina. Or Pennsylvania. Or Florida. Or Tennessee where I used to live. None of them did. But now there's quite a few of them that are just kind of following suit. I don't know if it's all coming that way or, or what. But... I kind of liked it when I could make a hundred dollar order and I have to pay the extra seven dollars. I guess I'm a cheapskate. Um, extra seven dollars is another lure or two. Um, so you guys let me know in the comments down below. What's your favorite frog? Or should I stay with this and just suck it up, buttercup? Um, let me know. Um, looking forward to kind of see what you guys like to use. Um, Frog fishing has always been, <laughs> frog fishing is one of the most thrilling and exciting things you can do, but it's also one of those things that can piss you off more than anything else on the water. If you're having one of them days and you're not, you're not getting a hook in those fish, it just seems like that day just keeps going and going and going and going. And it's like, damn, why can't I hook a fish? Sometimes you find yourself praying, please let me hook that fish. Or something. I find me that way. I'm like, I've, like when I'm fishing grass, I'm, I almost always start, um, I'm fishing a grass mat. I almost always try to fish the shallowest part of it first. Just because there's less places for that fish to go. When you're out on the edge or the deep part of the grass mat, the fish could be deep. He could be anywhere in between. But a fish are holding shallow, or the shallowest mat. Let me rephrase that. If you go to the shallowest mat and work your way out from the shallows, it gives you more of in tune to where that fish could be. Uh, that you find the fish a lot faster. Anyway, that's for a different day. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to sign out. You have a great day. Tight lines. Stay safe. Stay dry if you're in North Carolina. It's raining. Still raining. It's ridiculous. All right, guys.